We gather here this evening in God's presence to witness the joyous occasion of the marriage of Adam and Olivia. As your family and friends, we have gathered to offer our love and support to you in this sacred ceremony by witnessing the public exchange of your vows of lifelong commitment to one another. We promise to stand with you. We desire to rejoice in your happiness, to be patient when you make mistakes, to help you in times of trouble, and to uphold you before God in prayer. May you find us to be truly supportive whenever you need us, and we thank God for the gift of life and love that God has granted to both of you. And we voice our confidence that as you allow God, God will join with you in your hopes and dreams for married life. Let's pray together. God, let this storm hold off. <laughs> Amen. No, I'm joking. Let's pray together. Thank you, God, for the, your commitment to love each of us. Thank you for creating us with the ability to receive and to give love. Love that is self-sacrificing. Love that makes commitment between us as imperfect human beings possible. Thank you for the moments, the evidence of this love that we see in the lives of Adam and Olivia. Thank you for these sacred moments as they publicly declare this love and pledge their commitment to one another. Thank you too, Lord, for the committed love of family and friends. Thank you for those gathered here and for their willingness to come alongside Adam and Olivia in this commitment. And thank you, loving God, for your presence here. Listen to the words spoken. Look to the intent of our hearts. Grant strength and wisdom to carry out these commitments made as often as Adam and Olivia seek your face. We commit these moments to you now, O Lord. Amen. Who presents Olivia to be married to Adam? Her mother and I. Face me. Please be seated. Love is patient. Love is kind. Love is not envious or boastful or arrogant or rude. It does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice in wrongdoing, but rejoices in the truth. It bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never ends. And now faith, hope, and love abide these three. And the greatest of these is love. As an expression of your willingness to totally commit yourself to one another, I invite you to face each other. Join hands. Adam, will you have Olivia to be your wife? To live together after God's ordinance in the holy estate of matrimony. Will you love her, comfort her, Honor and keep her in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, keep yourself only for her, so long as you both shall live. And Olivia, will you have Adam to be your husband, to live together after God's ordinance in the holy estate of matrimony? Will you love him, comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, keep yourself only for him, so long as you both shall live. I will. As a further sign of your heartfelt desire, I invite you to repeat these words after me. Adam. In the presence of God. In the presence of God. And before these witnesses. And before these witnesses. I, Adam. I, Adam. Take you, Olivia. Take you, Olivia. To be my wife. To be my wife. To have and to hold from this day forward to have and to hold from this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poor. For richer, for poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. In joy and in sorrow. In joy and in sorrow. To love and to cherish and to be faithful to you alone. To love and to cherish and to be faithful to you alone. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. Olivia. In the presence of God. In the presence of God. And before these witnesses. And before these witnesses. 
I, Olivia. I, Olivia. Take you, Adam. Take you, Adam. To be my husband. To be my husband. To have and to hold from this day forward. To have and to hold from this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. In joy and in sorrow. In joy and in sorrow. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. And to be faithful to you alone. To be faithful to you alone. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. What outward and visible signs do you have that symbolizes the vows that you have made to one another? Rings. May these rings symbolize the purity and the never-ending love you each have for your chosen companion in life. Repeat after me. As you place the ring on her finger. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. That you may wear it. That you may wear it. As a symbol of our constant faith. As a symbol of our constant faith. And abiding love. And abiding love. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. That you may wear it. That you may wear it. As a symbol of our constant faith. As a symbol of our constant faith. And abiding love. And abiding Since God has kept up his end of the deal, let's go to God in prayer again. Thank you, God, for this happy occasion that we celebrate. Thank you for giving us love and for the gift of marriage. Bless Adam and Olivia that they may be the husband and wife that you intend them to be. Grant them the necessary grace to live out the vows that they have made this day. Help us as their family and friends to support and encourage them in their life together. We commit both ourselves and this couple to you now. Amen. For as much as Adam and Olivia have promised to be faithful and true to each other, and have witnessed the same before God and this gathering, by spoken vows and by giving and receiving rings and pledge, they enter now into a new estate. As a minister of Jesus Christ, I pronounce them husband and wife. What God has joined together, let no one separate. You may kiss your bride. It is with great pleasure that I present to you now Mr. and Mrs. Adam Wofford.